All right, this is an attempt to explain carbon cycle, and carbon is an element found in all throughout the earth and is found in all living matter, um, all organisms, <coughs> um, our carbohydrates, proteins, lipids are all carbon-based um, molecules. And so um, very important to us on earth, and just like the water cycle, uh, earth only has so much carbon. Um, and so that carbon is used over and over and over again, just like the water cycle that you may have learned. All right, so <clears throat> here's our little picture. We have an apple tree. We have uh, plants both on land and underwater. We have um, a, a person, a car, a factory. Um, poor Fido has passed away, and he's buried underneath the earth. And we have a fish. And here we see that we have carbon dioxide. Um, floating around in the atmosphere. <clears throat> and so when we take a look at what happens with carbon, um, here we see the plants um, taking in the carbon dioxide in a process called photosynthesis. Let's maybe do that in a different color here. Let's do photosynthesis. All right, so, so photo photosynthesis, um, the plants are going to take in the, ox the CO2. Also, the plants are going to take in the carbon dioxide from the carbon from the soil, like that. Okay. Um, also, we see an apple being eaten by this person and some plant life being eaten by this fish, and that carbon that is within those organisms are going to go into the human and go into the fish and that's the process of consumption consuming food okay um, here we see a strange arrow uh, where the carbon dioxide is actually going into the ocean water and that is called diffusion and diffusion will act both ways, and you'll see on the next on the next section that uh, there's also going to be an arrow going this way, that um, the carbon dioxide will leave the water in the same process of diffusion. Um, and also here we have, you know, the poor poor dog, someone's pet passed away, and they buried him, and some a dead flower and dead plant life, and these organisms, of course, hold carbon. And so it's going to go through a process of decomposition. Whoops. D. Come on. D. Composition. And through that decomposition, it's going to turn into fossil fuels over millions of years and go right back into the soil. And we said that from that soil, that um, carbon will, can go back into plants through the process of photosynthesis. All right, so that's part of the story. Uh, this was all kind of how carbon goes into organisms and transfer from one organism to, an organism to another. In the next one, we talk about how um, these arrows show how carbon will return back into the atmosphere. So here we have, let me change colors again, here we have um, the fish breathing and releasing um, carbon dioxide. Same thing with the human breathing and releasing carbon dioxide, and that's the process of respiration. Okay, and then again here, um, the the carbon dioxide. Um, is going to go from the ocean back into the atmosphere and that is again diffusion okay and then over here something you're very familiar with these arrows here where um, we have factory smoke and and a car exhaust and that's the burning of fossil fuels so that would be combustion All right, so we have all these different processes and all these different ways carbon is cycled throughout the earth and recycled and used over and over again. So to go over, we have photosynthesis, and this is getting long. 
uh, photosynthesis, which is um, plants. Let's see. Let's get. Uh oh. There we go. Plants take in CO2. Okay. Respiration is animals breathe out CO2. We have decomposition um, organisms decay or better word decompose and carbon goes back to the soil. Okay, carbon goes back to the soil. And then the next one we have consumption where well let's say animals animals eat organisms and they take in carbon diffusion is carbon um, passing from water to atmosphere and back okay because if you remember it goes back and forth and then combustion is basically the burning of fossil fuels which brings carbon back into the atmosphere alright so I know it was kind of a long um, video but these are the the big ideas of um, carbon cycle and again photosynthesis respiration decomposition we get consumption diffusion um, combustion if we hide these then you get kind of the the whole picture here and you'll see that um, the book and the internet will have all kinds of different pictures and diagrams um, so study those as well Hopefully this video helps you as well. Um, thanks for watching.